AG style. And sorry I haven't made a video in a really, really, really long time. It's been forever. But we've been really, really busy with a room redoing, as you guys can see. It's really pretty. It's not all the way done yet, but as soon as it is done, I promise you guys I will make a room tour as soon as possible. Today's DIY is this really cute mustache pillow. I am in love with this. This is so pretty and I can't believe that I made this because I thought and I was looking on Pinterest and I saw the idea of this. Theirs was so though and I didn't really want to deal with sewing right now at the moment and I'm really rusty on sewing so I need to like practice before I actually make something. So I made a no sew version which is honestly cuter because I like the little ties on the end. They're really cheap or free which I'm probably just going to say really cheap in case you don't have fabric but you can even cut up an old t-shirt and use it and this was all made from scrap fabric. I had a big really adorable pillow that I love so much and now you guys are going to see how to make it. So let's get started. The things you guys will need are pretty simple. First of all, is some glue, and I'm just using my favorite tacky glue, which is Aline's. I think you can get this at a local craft store, but I also think that if you seriously go to Walmart into the craft, craft section, you can find some craft glue. Next, what you'll need is scissors. I recommend special fabric scissors for cutting fabric, but you don't have to use those if you don't feel like it. Next, you'll need um, two, I mean not two, just old t-shirts, but you know, who doesn't have old t-shirts? Next, you'll just need some scrap fabric, and this one has, this one is full of holes. Hi! So, you're going to have these two pieces. So, you'll need at least two different colors of scrap fabric. So I'm going to start by taking a bigger piece of scrap pad fabric, laying it on the floor and deciding where I could cut to make two identical pieces. You could probably do a circle or a square is my guess. And I think I can cut here. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to fold it in half. Make sure you have adult permit. If you're under the age of 13, you have to make sure you have adult permission and or supervision, which I have permission to be doing. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the design shape and make sure it's actually bigger. So now we have our basic pillow shape cut. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut the mustache. So I'm up a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. So first we're gonna cut this and fold it in half. And now that we're done folding it, wait no. Perfect. We're gonna cut the shape of about half of a mustache. I'm gonna come even a little bit closer so you can perfectly see what I'm doing. So now we have a pretty cute 
an almost perfect shape of a mustache. We're not expecting it to be perfect. So now you're going to take one of your pieces of fabric and this is going to be the front of your pillow. And you're going to take one. And once again, the mustache should be a little small on there, but it'll make sense later because we're going to cut that and we're going to do little ties. So now we're going to take our glue and be careful, but we're just going to go ahead and glue the outline of the mustache and then fill it in. sit down. Now, go ahead and wait for the glue to dry for a little bit. So while you wait for your pretty mustache to dry, go ahead and I'm show you guys how it looks so far. So this is how it looks in case you guys want to I think this is absolutely adorable and I love it so much. Because it's so pretty. And it matches my room because my room has a lot of zebra. Just some ombre pink zebra. If there's glue coming out, just go ahead and wipe the glue off. Which I'm actually. So now we have our mustache pillow and it's semi dry. So it has to at least be semi dry, or at least dry enough that you can continue, like you don't want it to soak away. So of course, it's still not going to be totally dry, especially if you want. You can't wait for it to totally dry, but if you want to just finish it up quick, like I usually am, then I recommend just do it how it is. So just cut it how it is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors. We're going to cut to each of the four corners. And I actually think it helps to have your mustache. Hello, like they won't be in a weird unknown object. So I like to start by cutting my corners.
I don't want to waste my camera's battery, so I am going to turn the video off here, but I will continue once I have. So you're going to go ahead and just do one, two, three sides. Okay, so now we are done with doing all of them but one side, and if you do have a circle, just do it so there's enough so that there's a t-shirt to put in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the t-shirt and just like kind of crumple it up kind of to the size of the pillow. How to see it? And then we're going to take these two spots, see what I'm doing, opening them up. Then I'm just going to go ahead and put the t-shirt in it. I like it because it's comfortable and soft and it's not like, it's not like hard or anything. Because we will do a little bit of cutting because it's not done yet exactly, but it will be done really soon. But absolutely, last thing I'm going to do with this is I'm actually the edges are kind of big. So I'm just going to snip off any ends that look too big for you. Like for example, this, it looks like it sticks out a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and snip the edges off so it doesn't look huge. Hopefully the 